So as men, we're always trying to define what makes a man a man. I think that changes from culture to culture. I was raised on a farm in northwest Nebraska, so the first three things that made a man a man, the trifecta, were first of all, the kind of chew you chewed. I'm a red man man myself. The kind of hat you wore, I like a good crease right there. And of course, number three, the kind of truck you drive. Now, maybe you grew up with a little bit different definition of what it means to be a man. Maybe your dad was a businessman or maybe he was a ladies man and, and that's how you learn to define what a man is. But I can tell you, none of this matters at all. What matters is how our heavenly father created us. And what matters most is how he defines a man. And I can do that with one word. It's the word courage. Now, I'm not just talking about courage for courage's sake, right? Well, I'm gonna go kill a bear with a butter knife. I'm not talking about random courage. I'm talking about the kind of courage that God wants us to have as men. First Corinthians 16, 13, Paul says, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. There is nothing that takes more courage than to stand firm in the faith. Sometimes that means you're gonna to have to stand alone. Sometimes that means you're gonna to have to do things that you just don't wanna do. And in those moments, if you will dig down deep and you will become the person that God has created you to be, not only will you find your identity in Christ, but you will provide hope and life to the people that God has put in your life, your family, your friends, the people you work with. You're gonna show them the way to eternal life. I can't think of anything that takes more courage or better defines a man.